So Bitcoin is sitting at 67,685. It's moving a lot. It did uh, hit its all time high and it dropped to $59,000. $59,000 was the hold. It dropped $10,000 just like that. And it dropped $10,000, two, four, six. Yeah, in six hours. In six hours, it went up and then it went down, which basically coincides with our philosophy of um, letting something stay for more than eight hours. So um, from here, uh, of course, um, Bitcoin has uh, proven me wrong on everything that I believed it would do. The market has gone in a different direction. It has gotten out of the price range that I had for it as its top and market is super manipulated. So we will play as um, the manipulation offers which means that I will not be able to give you any closer targets on this because if <laughs> something is moving uh, $10,000 in uh, six hours, which is not even eight hours, I cannot give you a target that is sooner because it is always going to go and touch it and then it's going to go up or it's going to go up and touch it and then it's going to drop. From here, the game plan is very simple. As soon as it breaks $69,000, you are going to look uh, towards $72,000 as your next target. And unfortunately, which is very stupid to say, but and that's why I wanted to avoid it. Uh, your support is at $57,000. And as the risk to reward ratio doesn't make any sense, the reward is only um, $6,000 from here. And the risk is seven plus three, $10,000. So the drop is $10,000 to check if this thing is true. And um, the reward is only $6,000 from here, almost 6,000, it's not even 6,000, it's $5,000 actually. It doesn't make any sense that you are taking a reward of 50% for a loss of 100%, that kind of case scenario. That being said, um, that is how it is. People are looking for a direction. This is how it um, Bitcoin is playing out. We had better uh, ratios in the past, but now it is not the case scenario. It literally needs to break $57,000 to declare that now the top is in. There is no other way around it. And I cannot do anything else apart from this. Let me just check it one more time. <laughs> because I do have it in my telegram. And I mean, it's, <coughs> it's something that you look at. <laughs> Yeah, so the it's like it can actually uh, stretch to 73 as well, not just 72, but that doesn't matter. Your support is, yeah, your support is at uh, 57, and you can consider 59 as well. So um, how you can play it is um, if it breaks the previous low, which was 59 thousand dollars, it is indicating it is going towards 57, and of course it needs to break the previous all-time high to indicate that now it wants to go further up. If that is not happening, uh, what is the next case scenario? If we are not breaking 69, then what is next? The next is simple, is going to go uh, start going down. So it is going to go um, towards $65,000, uh, sorry, $64,000. The moment it breaks below $64,000, it will indicate now it's starting its journey towards 60. And then slowly we'll be looking at it. But if you're looking for a support and resistance, it is this big margin zone. And I cannot offer you anything else than that. Uh, we did think that market will not be manipulated this much, but we did see and the market um, turned around and proved me wrong. So that happened there. And uh, now we are just going to purely play on the technicals that is available on the charts because the market manipulation right now is at its peak.